you look absolutely rubbish. Yeah, I look pretty good for a dead woman. I thought you were going to stop that, Rachel. It's not helping. I'm trying to stay positive, Alex, but it's not easy. I will find a way, Rachel. I promise. Come on. We're going to be late for dinner. Can't we just forget about dinner? I don't really feel like going out. But you're all dressed up. Besides, you need to get your mind off things. Enjoy yourself. Come on, honey. Fifteenth anniversary, sweetheart. Honey, why did you invite all these people? I agreed to dinner, but this is just too much. Rachel, it's gonna be okay. I'm here with you. And all your friends are here and they want to see you. I promise, if it gets too much, we'll call it an early night. <laughs> wow, congratulations, Rachel. Congratulations. You look amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't believe you put this together. Jeez. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you. much. I don't see your brother anymore. He had urgent business to take care of. He sends his regards. Ben, thanks for coming. Oh, not at all. It's quite a party. I figured Rachel needs something special. Help her take her mind off things. Absolutely. I hope Rachel appreciates everything you're doing for her. Yeah. This isn't a social visit, is it, Ben? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. I found her, Alex. Couldn't this have waited until tomorrow? I thought it would be best to remind you what's at stake here. You have a week to make your decision. Otherwise, deal's off. <laughs> Wonderful party, Alex. All my best to Rachel. Doctor, I know. I think he might be able to help you. you Alex, that's incredible. Happy anniversary. Welcome home. You can't get rid of me that easy. Nice touch. I really thought I lost you. The thing that the guy who did this is still out there. Julian, I don't want to talk about this now. What matters is that I'm here, that we're here. I'm still getting my doctor to check up on you. Julian, that's not... I just got out of the hospital. They said I was fine. Look at me, I'm perfectly fine. Just one quick checkup. For me? Please? Okay. On 
one condition that you let it all go and pretend this never happened. Deal. I'm really sorry I gotta take this. I'll be right back now. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Yeah, maybe I'll get lucky tomorrow. I'm sure there's a connection here. Hey, honey. I thought we'd go check out that new restaurant tonight. What do you think? Rachel? I, uh, I went to the doctor today. I don't know, I think there might be something wrong. What happened? Well, he didn't say much. He just wants to run more tests. Honey, why didn't you mention anything earlier? I didn't think anything was wrong. I mean, I've just been a bit tired lately, and I knew the checkup was soon. I didn't want to have to worry you. It's going to be okay, Rachel. Alex, what if something really is wrong? Ben Adams. Yes? Who is this? It's Alex Clark. I don't know if you remember me, but... Alex, of course. I haven't heard from you in a long time. <laughs> yeah. The last couple of years have been rather busy. I can see that. I've been reading the medical reviews. You've certainly come a long way since med school. So have you. Actually, Ben, that's the reason I'm calling. It's about my wife.
I know, but you need to understand. I'm sorry. What you're asking me to do is impossible. Ben, please. Listen, I have a call on the other line. I need to take it. If, if anything comes up, just let me know. I can help you. Just like old times. But keep that in mind. Good night, Alex. We finally did it. Are you kidding me? The van's still half full. Details, Julian, details. Thank you. For what? For not running out the door the second I brought up the idea. Wait, that was an option? <laughs> Just think. We got that spare room in the back now. Maybe one day... You're absolutely right. I am? You should get a dog. Liz, you know what I mean. Yes, I know what you mean. But I told you, I'm not ready. I know. But look at us. We've taken this giant step together. What's wrong with talking about what comes next? Exactly. We've just taken this massive step. So let's not spoil it, all right? I was hoping you would have changed your mind by now. We've been over this, Julian. After what happened last time, I'm not sure I'm ready for this again. You know what? You're right. Where do you want that box? Um, it goes in our bedroom. Can you put the other boxes against the wall? Beautiful office, but a man with your prestige should have something a little bigger. You have a minute? Are you expecting any more patients? No, I was just getting ready to leave, actually. Well then, let's begin. What is this? This is your wife's case history. IG nephropathy leading to the onset of chronic renal failure. I'm aware of the diagnosis. Can you do anything? <laughs> you have to understand, Alex. This is an incredibly rare and serious condition. And please, I've done the research. Can you help her? Look, I know you've spoken to other therapists already. They must have told you. A full course of dialysis? Dialysis may buy her some time. But in my opinion, she needs renal replacement therapy. But you knew this already, or you wouldn't have reached out to me in the first place. If you could just convince the transplant- Alex, I already told you. It's next to impossible. But surely, someone in your position- Alex, there are millions of sick people that need help. Tell me, why do you get special treatment? Because I helped you once, Ben. And you wouldn't be where you are right here, right now, if it wasn't for me. I thought you might say that. Ben, I don't have time for games. My wife's life is at stake. What is this? This is my wife's case history. <sighs> she can't conceive. You've tried different methods and medications and nothing's worked. What do you expect me to do? You're going to write a prescription for clomiphene. Why? Indications are it won't work. Besides, any fertility specialist can get that to you. Why come to me? Because you're going to write a prescription without opening a file for my wife. It's really simple, Alex. You help me, and I take on your wife as my patient. It's a goddamn joke. I come to you for help, one doctor to another, and you bring me this? <clears throat> what kind of man are you? 
This is the offer, Alex. Now you take more time if you need to think about it. But it's as you said. It's your wife's life that's at stake here. But you know where to reach me if you want to find me. Good night, Alex. Honey, what are you doing home? I thought you had an appointment at the orphanage. He said they didn't need my help anymore. They kicked you off the board? No, nothing like that. He just said my health was more important, that I should focus on... Maybe they're right, Rachel. I mean, you've done enough for them. Maybe you just need to rest and take care of yourself. For now. It's beginning. Piece by piece. Everything that I am, everything that I do, it's being taken away from me. Listen, Rachel, you're still one of the strongest people I know. You'll be on your feet in no time. I feel so useless. Right on time! Roxana, meet Max. Roxana. You want a drink? Isn't she cold? Ah, I keep her warm. <laughs> right. Can we get straight into business now? See, just like I told you, the man is a consummate professional. Can we hurry this along? Whoa, whoa, you need to listen up a bit, eh? Try to enjoy finer things. Sound advice coming from the walking cliche. I wonder if she's ever heard of the theory about guys and big flashy cars. Everything you need to know about him is in here. Anything else I need to know? I just told you, it's all in there. Come on, Jimmy. You know what I mean. Just follow the guy and report back everything he does. What am I looking for? Your job is not to ask questions, it's to do what I say. How am I supposed to do my job if I don't know what you're looking for? That's not for you to know. Just do your fucking job. No problem. Now, if you will excuse us. Well, let me meet you, Roxanne. Roxy. Out of trouble, George. Oh, it was Max. Why did you do all this? Thought you'd like it. But why? Well, things have been a bit tense lately. Wanted to do something special. Listen, 
I know I've been hard to deal with lately. I could get used to this. Just leave it, Julian. So sorry. I have to take this. Sure. I'll just be a minute, okay? I'm sorry. <sighs> you need me to come in. Again? Don't they know what time it is? I know. That bastard Peterson called an emergency meeting with the Chinese investors. And with the time difference? If you gotta go, just go. I'm sorry. I love you. Beautiful, isn't it? Man, it's a fucking winter wonderland up here. <sighs> How's Rachel? She's not doing well. More ways than one. I have what you asked for. Home thing? Relax. There's no one up here. Why do you think I asked you to come up here in the first place? Let's see it. Perfect. So, I'll come by your office tomorrow morning and we can start scheduling a time for Rachel to come You're really in a hurry to leave, aren't you? No time to enjoy the view. What is this? It'll help Rachel for now. It's not a cure, but it'll make her feel better. Ben, what is this? It's an experimental pain reliever undergoing FDA testing. Potent, but very promising. Are you serious? How do I know this is safe? Well, there's no point in me giving something to Rachel that'll make her sicker now, is there? Before you ask, no. It won't stress her kidneys. Any potential side effects? Not if she takes the dosage I prescribed. Are you sure? Why don't you ask another nephrologist, if you don't trust me? You know I can't do that. Alex, it'll make her feel better. Anyhow, as I was saying, I'll come by your office tomorrow morning and we'll set up a treatment schedule for Rachel.
Alex, not so fast. There's one more thing I need you to do for me. Ben, I got what you asked for. I never said that's all I needed. The fuck you think you're dealing with? I'm not here to play your petty little mind games, Ben. Take it easy. Did I remind you that if something happens to me, it's Rachel's condition that gets worse? Ben, I got what you asked for. You said you would treat her. I am going to treat her. I need your help with a few more things first. It's getting late. We'll keep in touch. Rachel? I'm here, honey, in the kitchen. Good morning. Rachel, you look beautiful. Thank you. I thought it would up a nice breakfast for us. Honey, you didn't have to do that. No, I wanted to. I haven't slept this good in ages. And look at me, I feel perfect. In fact, why don't you go get dressed and I'll be done by then. We should go to the mountains. When? This weekend? No. Today. I'll take the day off work. Oh, wonderful. When I give you advice, I usually know what I'm talking about. Two weeks on the meds and she's back on her feet, so to speak. Yes. Thank you, Ben. Now let's get down to business. What is it you want, exactly? What I want is for you to stay calm this time. Just listen to what I have to say. Considering what's already happened, I don't see how I can make that promise. I need a surrogate. You're gonna find one for me? I perform the in vitro. Again, any fertility no, special- you don't understand. The surrogate isn't going to know. I have it all planned. You don't have to worry about getting caught. We'll pick someone who's already in a relationship. She won't even think to get a paternity test. Are you delusional? Do you have any idea what you're asking me to do? You're out of your mind, Ben. You've lost- Listen to me! No. I won't listen to you. I won't be a part of this. I have thought this through for months! My wife can't conceive. You saw the file yourself. Clonefiend was my last resort. And it didn't work. So what, what you're proposing 
Do you understand the laws that we are breaking? The ethical codes. One little slip. One little crack. Ben, there's a million ways to have a baby. A legal surrogate, adoption. Chase the horse, not the zebra. What are you talking about? Do you think I'm stupid? That I haven't thought everything through? That I haven't... I'm done wasting my time arguing with you. This is how it's going to be. All I want is a simple answer. Are you in or out? <laughs> but trust me, if you walk away, this will be the last time you see me or my miracle drug. Who, Ben? One of your patients. I'll have to look through their files. Are you crazy? One of my patients? What did I just say? Alex, you're an OBGYN. Most of your patients are either pregnant or want to be. We'll find someone who's compatible. She won't even have to know you were involved. Can I even ask? How do you plan on getting the baby after it's born? I'm not gonna explain that if you won't do it. Listen, Ben. You can't just spring this on me and expect an answer right away. <laughs> Considering what you're asking from me, it's give and take. Don't you compare me to you, Ben. All I asked you to do was to bump Rachel up the waiting list so she could have a transplant as soon as possible. Oh, I know. Don't compare me to you. What you're asking me to do is disgusting. And let's say I do this, and one of my patients that's ahead of your wife dies. Or you don't have a problem with that on your conscience? Listen, I know what you think of me right now, and quite frankly, I don't blame you. <laughs> but I have thought this through more than you can possibly imagine. The bottom line is, you need me. And I need you too. We're just doing what we have to. If I were to say yes, How would we start? I'm sorry. I got held up with the meeting. I waited two hours for you. You promised you were coming home tonight. I know. It was a last minute thing. You know how it is. Was it important? Can we go sit down? Unbelievable! I swear to God, you better be around Saturday. Don't tell me. Liz. It's my job. Julian, it's my mom's birthday. We planned this two months in advance just so we could block off the date. I know. I know. Ever since you started at this place, you've been barely coming home for dinner. You run off at all hours of the night. You've been missing every single family gathering. You know how much they mean to me. What was it this time? Dinner with the investors? Staying late to monitor the stock market? I need to fly to Hong Kong first thing in the morning. Liz, it's work. I'm doing this for our future. Future? How can we have a future if you're always away working late hours? Liz, you're exaggerating. Am I? You never make time for us. Work always comes first. You said you weren't ready. Don't blame me. You're the one always pushing me away. How can I push you away if you're never here in the first place? Do you think I want things to be like this? 
You never even appreciate the things I do for you. You're always thinking about what's best for you. You can be so selfish sometimes. How can you- Starting to think that we shouldn't have moved in together in the first place. Liz. Fuck off! That was beautiful. <laughs> Who is it? It's a friend. I'll have to take it. <sighs> then. Alex, I was hoping you missed me. You don't sound too excited to hear my voice. What do you want this time? Yes, right to the point. Well, at least you're learning. With someone tomorrow, and I want you to come along. Ben, haven't I done enough to help you already? <laughs> enough? <laughs> Are you coming with me or not? You speak as though I have an option. But you do. You always do. You can save Rachel or not. Come on, it'll be a walk in the park. What is this about? The less questions you ask, the better. When and where? That's it. Of course. Are you in or out? I'm in. How are you feeling? Tuna casserole's gone bad. Okay, you've been home less than a day and I've already managed to piss you off somehow. Liz?
When I was in the hospital, just before you checked me out, they told me I'm pregnant. <laughs> you scared me for a second there. This is amazing. I can't believe it. Jillian, it's been two weeks. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is great news. Look, Jillian, listen to what I said. It's two weeks old. So? What does that have to do with... It's not possible. Two weeks ago, I was in Hong Kong. Why are you looking at me like that? You don't think... I wouldn't cheat on you, Julian. You have to believe me. I need you to help me figure this out. I'm scared. I was thinking about the timing, two weeks. You think something happened that night in the alley? Wouldn't the doctors have said something? I was out for hours. Anything could have happened. Hi, honey, it's me. Rachel? Is anything wrong? No, no, I, I just wanted to call you. Uh, sweetheart, can it wait? I've got a lot of work I need to get done here. It's just... I need to talk to someone. You mean... like a psychiatrist or something? No, not... Never mind, it's not important. I've got to let you go, but I promise. We'll talk when I get home. Bye. It's Rachel. Can we talk? Yes. Tomorrow at three. Is there anything else you remember? I'll be right back. I know I haven't told you, but I managed to get a hold of this. I can barely remember, but I know there were two of them. When I was fighting them off, I felt something come loose in my hand. Jillian, where did you see it? Stay here. Julian!
Relax. He's late. Maybe the police caught him. We should go. He's two minutes late. I have a bad feeling, Ben. It's not a good sign. What you have for dinner? What? What does it have to do with anything? I'm hungry. You wanna grab a bite after this? Are you serious? Everything you asked for is inside. Drugs. Oh, this is business. Just stay calm. Twenty-five thousand. Perfect. You didn't need me. Why the hell did you drag me into this? Someone's here. We have to go. Shut up. What do you want? Talk to this son of a bitch! What the hell, the hell is this? Wait, wait. Who are you? You don't remember? Liz Williams? Do you know this guy? This is one of your games, Ben? What did you do to her? Who the fuck is this guy? You motherfucker, you set me up! Set me up to... to... What did you do to Liz? What are you talking about? I saw your ring! What ring? Can someone tell me what the fuck is going on? I know it's your ring! I want some answers now! What the fuck? You let the cops here? What? No! You, you mother... Listen, you let listen. the cops here! Ah! Go, 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 go. You fuckers! Fucking dead! Adam! Ah! How the hell are we gonna get out of here? Shut the fuck up. Fears us. We're all fucking dead. What are you doing? I'm plan me. How can you meet a guy like this and not be armed? Come on, come on, we have to move. On three. One. Two. Three! Go! Ah! Get up! Get up! Let's play a little game, okay? I ask the questions and you provide the answers. If not, you die. Fuck you! Stop! Oh. 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 Get up! Oh. Let's start with who you're working for. I was told to meet them there, okay? My boss never told me his name. Don't give me that shit! My boss never told you me his name! Adams! Now tell me, who the fuck are you working for? What happened to the dealer? What was that gunshot? It's been taken care of. Julian! Are you alright? Are you sleeping with my girlfriend, yes or no? Julian, no. Did you get Liz pregnant, yes or no? Let me explain, Julian. Fuck you! I know you were there. She found your ring. The one you always wear? The one in your pictures in your office? Yeah, I have an eye for detail for things like that. You've done something to her. You guys are doctors. You're supposed to be helping people. Look at you. You're murderers. And what you've done to Liz? Fuck this. You're both going down for this. Julian, please! Death changes everything, even when it looms over the horizon. They say that human nature fights, resists change, but change is inevitable. And how we deal with change can destroy people's lives. It can strengthen bonds, revealing deep emotional reserves we may not have known existed. 
can drive us to seek help. Wherever we can find it. It's in these times of change that we come face to face with our greatest fears. We lose ourselves in the concepts of fate. Chance. Clinging to the smallest signs of safety and salvation. Some call it hope while others call it insanity. Life can be so complicated. I don't know, maybe I'm just ranting. Maybe I'm losing my mind. No. Not at all. Julian, please, let me explain. Explain? It's not what I you- Explain what exactly? How you had my girlfriend kidnapped into God knows what to her? How you had a man killed out here? It's not what you think. It wasn't my choice. There's always a choice! Julian! What? 